Hello everyone and welcome back to Foundation. I thought it would be a good idea to start with some floof. <laughs> our sheep, I'm very proud of them. Uh, they're doing a really good job uh, producing a lot of wool. Uh, we already have 52 and uh, <laughs> yes, things are happening. We finished a stonemason's hut and I already went ahead and assigned somebody to it. So now we can finally get some money in and start... Uh, start getting some gold back. Uh, we still need to finish these extensions here to make sure that our villagers and our soldiers have somewhere to stay. As soon as we've got some money, we will set some aside, hopefully, so we can promote some serfs. And we need one more, just one more, and we can start purchasing some fisheries. At the moment, we have a lot of people just standing around doing nothing. <laughs> I'm not sure why. We have plenty of houses. Uh, yeah. Ooh. They finished this one in the last video and I did not even notice this one pop up. I don't think. But, uh, let's see. Uh, some villagers are lacking food. Oh dear. That's not good. We have three people foraging. Okay, we really need to get these fish going. Because we already have 41 people. That's a lot. Jean is working on making polished stone. We do need to get to quite a bit before we start selling it. I might actually reduce this down to 15. We don't need more than 15. I don't think for anything that we're building at the moment. And ooh, we can see gold going up. Uh, I think it was only recently that I got the promotion alert. Uh, so I think we're okay for a little bit longer. We might even be able to get to the 75 gold that we need uh, to build these extensions over here. And once we have uh, promoted our last villager and we have built some huts, we will then move on to producing clothing. And it's actually really good that so many people are joining because if we place multiple fisheries down here we will need a lot of people and we also want to really really start training some of these guys up which could mean that we need some swords. Uh, the first neighbor doesn't sell any. Second one doesn't either, but Davenport does, and for that we need 20 bread. So I think we're not going to send any of our soldiers out on missions until we can give them some swords. Uh, and swords you put right here. Oh, I have five? Where did I get five sword from? Okay. Let's give some of them some swords that will increase their strength as well. There we go. I have no idea where I got that from. Maybe you spawn in with it in the game. But yes, we need to unlock our third neighbor, which we can only do after we make some bread. And then we can make sure that we always have a stock, uh, <laughs> a stack of swords in our inventory. Because if your soldiers are not strong enough, you're not going to win any of the missions, unfortunately. The next thing that we could do is the tailor's workshop, but you do need 50 gold for that. And I really don't want to run out of money when the next promotion comes around. So I think uh, we'll be very, very careful. Uh, one other thing we could do is wait until the quest giver shows up and ask him, uh, ask him if we can do some deliveries for 200 gold because that would be really great. Uh, oh, should we risk it? Should we risk it for the biscuit? Let's quickly pause the game before we lose any more. How much do we need for Taylor? 50. No! <laughs> oh, we need money. We need money. We're struggling a little bit, but I think uh, whenever you start to play this game, three more people. Oh gosh, that's going to be a more strain on our resources. Oh, maybe we should put down one more gatherer's hut. If we don't want to overpopulate this area, we could place one down here. Just to make sure they have something to put in their mouths before we get the fish going. But yes, again, I'm very uh, sort of iffy about buying anything because we do need 20 gold. And at the moment, 20 gold is a lot of money just to promote one villager. 
And just like that, we shot back up. I think that's the trader they brought in so good. So let's just quickly pause it because we have quite a bit. And uh, let's put down a tailor's workshop. Oh, I think I need to turn this area. There we go. Otherwise, we don't know <laughs> where we can build. Tailor's workshop uh, could go here. That looks quite good. Uh, let's squeeze them in as much as we can. Like that. And we will also place down one market. Just to make sure that if we do run out of money, uh, that we have somewhere to sell our clothing. So that's going to be our good stall. And we could put that one over here. And we'll do a blue roof for this one. I think that's actually... How can I... No. <laughs> we'll move it away a bit because it's getting really close to the other stall. There we go. Uh, and I think because we have cloth now, we can actually put a roof on that one as well. So we'll put a uh, good sign. So this is where we're going to sell our clothing. Very nice. And I can't start... Oh. <laughs> oh no. But uh, the good thing is that we can actually leave the blueprint, which is something I didn't know we could do before. Um, we're not going to, I think, continue with these builds until we do actually have the clothing that is being made and then we can immediately finish our goods uh, market and start selling some clothing so that will also help in getting some of that money coming in it's looking very busy at the moment uh why is there a circle well, i don't think this is gonna go away until we build it <laughs> so we're just gonna have to chill out with a green circle for just a little bit we need very very little materials uh, to complete the tailor's workshop and I believe it's done. Uh, we'll assign one more person. And I think we need to start managing our warehouses a little bit. Uh, so... I think actually a good idea might be to move the polished stone over here. We'll do wool over here and clothing. It's quite concerning that you need that much money to build a marketplace. I wonder if uh, actually we could take down the roof and just be with this. So that needs just 50 gold, which is still a lot for a market. That is, that is a lot. Zero people decided to join. <laughs> yes, they, they can tell we're struggling. We're, we're trying. Don't judge. Ooh, money's going up. Money's going up. Uh, shall we do it? Shall we do it? Yes, start the construction because uh, we can't we can't get money if we're not selling goods and This should ooh, oh Yes, oh, I smell a lot of money coming in What we can also do is unlock the trade route lovely. So these guys will buy bread and they will oh my god No <laughs> Someone left due to unhappiness this early in the game. Oh, and we missed it. We were being greedy. Okay, let's see what he has for us. He wants berries. Oh, that might be a bit of a stretch. Let's see where we could do it. Uh, wooden wall, large stone wall. That's not that important. Um, we have a lot of points in labor. Uh, tavern is very difficult to keep up, uh, so at the moment what we could do maybe is focus on the church. Yeah, let's do the church. Uh, I want to assist these guys. So let's stockpile our berries. Our people might not be that happy for a little bit, but we need the money. We really, really need the money. This is only temporary pain. As soon as we have finished this marketplace and assigned somebody to be a market sender. Oh, we're going to see a lot of money coming in, I think. So, to quickly explore, these guys will buy bread. Uh, we're not going to make tools for forever. So, the only thing we can really sell to middle, middle 
<laughs> is bread. Uh, which is okay. Um, but yes, once we make bread, we will unlock the Davenport, and that is the... That's the important one. That's the one that I think is gonna make us the most money long term. How many unemployed people do we have? I think quite a lot. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> yes, that's a lot. Oh, I didn't keep track of when we got the promotion. So we're on week one. I'm guessing it was at the end of week four. So maybe we have quite a bit of time still. So if we get some money coming in from the clothing, we could finish this building here. And that should resolve a little bit of our housing problem. I'm not sure if I make these into dorms, the people I have assigned to them automatically go into them as uh, residents. But I may have to unassign everybody and then reassign them. One person decided to join though, so he took the place of the one who <laughs> left due to unhappiness. What unhappy- oh okay, we are at 27. Our people are starving. Oh. Oh no. Okay, let's sell clothing and let's assign one of them to be a market tender. I don't think this is going to increase their happiness at all. But at least we were able to deliver the berries. Sacrificing the happiness of our people. But I mean, sometimes it has to be done. We have a lot of money though. Ooh, shall we? Shall we splurge out? How can I? There we go. Start construction. So that will help with our dorms. And we still have quite a lot of money. I think that's from the trade that came in. So let's see if anybody buys any clothes. Uh, how much do we have? Uh, zero here, but we have 50 over here. Not too bad. Uh, it might take a bit of time for them to actually start transporting the goods over to the market. But once they do, it will be good times. Oh wow, our village is so unhappy. Why is everybody starving? Well, I mean, <laughs> we only have one berry bush per 46 people. We've actually really jumped up in terms of how many villagers we have in one place in this little, little town. It's growing really nicely, and I like how busy it's starting to look. But it is making things a bit difficult. Most of our people are employed. We just need that one more surf. Just one more. And we're gonna be okay. I uh, just need to quickly remember who was selling swords. So it's Davenport that sells swords. So after we have set up some fisheries and have a fish market going on to make sure that our people don't starve to death or leave whichever comes first <laughs> we will then focus on making bread uh, that will not only give our people some food uh, we can use that to trade and uh, we can also buy some swords and then we can send our people out to make us some money by looting and pillaging ill-gotten gains doesn't matter. All is fair in war and war. Because these guys, these guys are what matters. Okay, we're at zero gold again. Uh, oh goodness, we're approaching week three, day one. I'm really hoping that... Oh, I see a trader. Please give us the money. Give us the money before we run out. I think that was the trader. Ooh, money, 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 money. Okay, we're climbing. We're not spending this on anything. We need that one single surf and then we're gonna be okay. Is anything happening here? Uh, oh! Oh, 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 oh. What is going on? Uh, market tender. Oh, I only have one. Oh, I think uh, I may have assigned a market tender. And that may have been the person who left due to unhappiness, maybe? Uh, let's play. Okay, one market center assigned. Oh, I'm glad I noticed that problem. Is I was wondering why are we not getting any clothing sold? We don't have any over here. Um, but this is looking very good. So hopefully one of them is going to come and pick it up and quickly put it in the market before the next promotion day starts. We need one more surf. Just with just one more. And for that we just need 20 gold. 
Come on, guys. You can do it. You just need 20 gold and I will sort out your food problem. Oh, we have a lot of stone over here. Uh, these guys are sort of just standing around. Uh, not sure why. Uh, we have a lot of stone. Maybe that's why. Have they sort of uh, made the maximum of what can be held? Yes, maybe. How's our stone cutter doing? Hmm. Very nice. One more person decided to join. <laughs> we don't have enough jobs going. 17 people are starving. I guess that's that's a bit better than what we had. I think we had nearly 40 people starving, but we still have no money and promotion day is coming up. I think we have one more week. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. I I think uh, what was just sold, definitely not clothing, uh, maybe berries. So we're selling above 40 berries, 20 planks. Uh, we can sell more polished stone for sure. No, wait, uh, that was correct. <laughs> so we're selling anything above 15. Uh, maybe we could reduce this down to 20 tools. Uh, that will save us a bit of money as well. And that is, at the moment, everything that we're selling. Not good. I wonder if we could speed up this polished stone business because we have too much stone. And it's sort of sitting there. <laughs> One more person left. <laughs> oh dear. We have some impatient people, but that's okay. Uh, we'll focus on making sure that the people that we do have are the ones that are worth keeping. Woodcutter could not find... Ah, ooh, ooh, I think these guys finished. Good, okay, so let's decolor this area. And uh, let's reassign everything over this way. Very carefully. There we go. This will also increase the efficiency because they don't have to travel far at all. Okay, and this area is now more or less cleared for farms. Oh, see, you you lose one, you gain one. Oh no, we're on day six of week four. Oh, this is going to be very intense. Losing money rapidly. Oh, I don't think we'll make it. Oh, no, we've gone below 20. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. We're going below 20 again. I don't think we'll make this promotion either. Oh, dear. Why are we not selling any clothing? Do we have any? Okay, let's do one more woodcutter. Oh, we did have... Oh, that's why. Oh, no. <gasps> Look. Look at that. How lucky! Okay, let's promote someone who's a level 3. You. Oh, we did it! Oh, we did it! Okay. Wait. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. No! <laughs> Our people left! Oh, we had such a pickle! No, I thought we... Oh, Darn it. Come on, people, buy some clothing. You're gonna be happier for it. Okay, I think before any more people leave and leave us in this tricky, tricky position, I'm going to unlock another gathering hut and make sure that this uh, helps us get some food going. Actually, uh, oof. Oh, that's too late for that now. I didn't want to put it there. I want the trees to be there. I should have put it over here. Oh, that's okay. Yes, so we'll finish the gathering hut. Ooh, don't miss the people. Okay. Bread. We can't do bread. Sorry, guy. So yes, this will hopefully help us get some food going. And if the people are happier, they might choose to spend some money on clothing. Yay, 50 clothing. Okay, we should really see the money go up now. I'm hoping... 
Yeah, she has 50 clothing. Or is it only when they're a serf or a commoner that they buy clothing? I think I may have screwed up here again. No. <laughs> oh, no. How have we messed up this bad? Well, at least we have the soldiers, but we can't even train them. Well, not really. Because uh, they don't have any swords, so they're just gonna lose every battle. But we'll do... Uh, the Great Hall's already assigned to our Lord Manor, so we'll do two dorms, and this allows us to have 11 people, so occupation is 0 out of 11, so yes, that's what we'll do. We'll take everybody off. Yes, uh, please leave the building. And once we assign them, you'll see this number sort of fill up a bit, and that will sort out their housing issue. I think... One more person left. <laughs> yes, uh, no, uh, we're not doing too good. Things are very dicey. Okay, let's see. One more person's remaining over there. Doesn't want to go. Go away. Go away, we need to reassign people. We'll definitely assign everybody to Forager. And maybe that will sort out our issue with the berries and the food okay has this person left good okay let's assign every single person that we have uh oh that didn't uh didn't do anything does that mean they're gonna move in after that is strange i have no idea it was supposed to fill in the spaces and I think now I lost all my swords. Oh no, I didn't. Oh good. Okay, let's do the partially trained ones. And one of these guys. I think because we are at such a low level of training, what I will do is I will try to get as many soldiers as I can before I send them out. And I will send them to an easy mission as well. We just lost somebody. A market sender. The berry seller. <laughs> just as we're getting some more food in. But it's okay. One person just joined. So as soon as they have arrived. Uh, we're going to make them a market sender. This is very... Uh, this is not an easy game. I mean, I think I've made it harder than it's supposed to be. But at the moment, uh, yeah. Not, not the easiest. Uh, people are starving. We have no money. We have a... Overflows resources that doesn't seem to be doing anything. We could be selling all that clothing to our neighbor. And we can't even sell it to our people because everybody's just a newcomer or a serf. And I think they only start to buy clothing when they're a commoner. We just, we just need to make sure that people are happy and stop leaving because uh, it's not good for business. We would have to wait, I think, until our military people are fully trained. And then we could send them to an easy, a very, very easy mission and see how they do. Because they might bring back some goodies that we can sell. Ooh, money. We're only on week three, day five. So it's still a bit of a time away before we can promote our next batch of people. And to be honest, I think I might just splash out and... Promote, uh, so I need two serfs uh, to unlock the fishing village. Oh, three more people decided to join. That's good. I think it's because we started to get some food then. Yes, yes, yes. Go down to zero. Yay. Okay, our happiness is climbing. So hopefully that will stop people from leaving. And we suddenly got a massive influx of money. I am so confused. That's kind of how this game works. You just... Uh, you do really bad and then it just shoots back up. So I think as much as I want to build a farm and start to get some bread going, I will focus on promoting at least a few people to a serf and a commoner because that will make sure that they start buying clothing, which will mean more money for us. And then we can also start expanding when we do get that money because we're being very tight at the moment. Keeping this land for the farm when I do feel ready to start building it. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, she's, 
<laughs> he just sheared the poor sheep. Oh, look at it. It's just naked. Oh, it look like little sausages on legs. Oh, it's nice to see that they have added in these details. I've never seen them shear a sheep before. <laughs> it's nice. It's already growing back though. They're very quick about it. We have a lot of plank, uh, so I think that's going to be a big influx of money once that gets sold. Uh, what are we selling above uh, for the planks? So we're selling anything above 20. Ooh, we're on day four? Day five. Two more days and we can promote, I think, a lot of people. Oh, that's good, that's good. That is what we want. A uh, forger can find accessible. Why? You should be okay. Oh god, we ran out of berries. Oh, that has never happened. That has never happened before. Wow, we really need that fish. Oh dear. Look, so close yet so far away. I've never run out of a resource before. I did not even think that could... Oh. I thought it was like bug door that you could go on forever until you run out, but no, that is official. We are officially foodless. Oh, that was quick. But because it just grew back, it may actually take a very short space of time before we run out again. There we go. Okay. Before we do stupid stupid, we will unlock two serves, so maybe three just in case somebody suddenly decides to go. And we can promote two people, maybe, to commoner. Uh, yeah, and we'll leave the rest of it to build a fisher's hut. So let's unlock it. So fisher's hut. Oh, it's official. We have it. We have a fisher's hut. And the road sign. <laughs> okay, before any more money goes away. Let's at least build a few of them. Oh, we can build five, actually. Good. I think that is exactly what we're going to do. So we'll build them nice and behind the Lord's Manor. Out of the way. Like that. Here we go. It could actually be a good idea. Uh, no. No, 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 no. So we'll focus on doing the fish. So five, Fisher's Hut. There we go. Please build it. Uh, your army is growing stronger. Good. Not strong enough. Not strong enough to send them off yet. So whoever we have, we will assign to be Fishers and that is perfect. Uh, we Five of these can be Fishers and one of them can be a market tender. Oh, I just got a crash. That's okay. I've only had two of those, so, so far the game's not too bad with crashes. So where we left off is we want to assign fish to the granary, so this will make sure that they can sort of stockpile the food over there and that hopefully will sort out our food problem. Our berry gatherers are gathering, so that's okay. And we'll very soon, I think, run out of space for housing. Uh, let's see if we could uh, paint it around here. There we go, one house, maybe another one would be great. Uh, we don't really want to build here anymore, to be honest. We'll leave this area for our farm. And we don't want them to build here either. I think once the houses have been finished, you can just delete the area. Ooh, an audience. Uh, fish? Uh, no, we can't. <laughs> we can't get it done in time. That's okay. Uh, as soon as we've got it going, though, it should be a bit easier. How many builders do we have? We only have three builders. Uh, would that be enough to finish this project? I think so. Yes. Yeah. So we don't want. Um, we don't want too many people without anything to do. And we actually have quite a bit of money. Two decided to join. Good, 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 good. Okay, maybe... Let's get some farms going. Uh, wheat farm. Let's put it... Let's put the entrance over here. 
Yes, and I think we'll get another one going because wheat is uh, not that easy to source stockpile. It does take a while, so I think two farms would be good. There we go. And then we'll paint these entire areas with farmland. And once we unlock over here, we can expand it as well. At the moment, we're focusing on building our fisher's hut. And that will resolve our food problem. Still a lot of idlers. <laughs> Go and build your houses, people. I think we need to prioritize the fisher's huts, though, because they've started to build a farm. Uh -huh. Yes, please. How much wood do we have? Why do we have so little wood? Uh, don't really want to put down another loggers camp uh, because we do only have this limited area. I suppose we could color more over this way. I mean, yes, as long as they're replanting it, it's not a problem. Okay, let's do reforestation over here. There we go. Yes, and we want to keep a couple of trees over here just for uh, aesthetic purposes and we just ran out of berries again and just in time because I think this one is almost finished. We, we are okay-ish with berries at the moment I think is just enough. Oh and there we go one is done. So let's assign a fisherman, marry the fisherman <laughs> and the other four can be built. Uh, one of our farms finished building as well, so let's assign three farmers. Let's paint a crop field. So there's a nice little path going in the middle here. So we'll do all the way over this way. Oop. There we go. Oh, look! They're planting the crops. Good. Okay, I think we'll finish off uh, over here before we reach another disaster. Although the money is not looking too bad now. And in the next video, we'll continue our growth. It's starting to look very, very busy. So we'll definitely need to unlock some more territories. We'll get some more complicated production going. And also we'll focus in the future on training our little military men. Just in case you haven't seen... That is how they train. <laughs> Just bashing things. That is good enough. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.